This fleet equipment unscripted interview is presented by Hendrickson, a leading manufacturer of heavy-duty suspension systems and components to the global commercial transportation industry. Visit hendrickson-intl.com to learn more. Hi everyone, I'm Jason Morgan, Content Director for Fleet Equipment, and welcome to Fleet Equipment Unscripted. Today we're talking with Jacob White, Product Marketing Director with Peterbilt, who's joining us from CES out in Las Vegas. Jake, great to see you. How's the show going? Yeah, hey Jason, great to see you too. Show's going great. Ton of traffic in the booth and a lot of people excited about all these great products. Yeah, well, thank you for taking us there virtually. Uh, Peterbilt has been at CES for a number of years now. From a trucking perspective, what, what do you get all out of the show and what's the kind of vibe there? Well, it's just great to be amongst uh, technology innovators like, like ourselves and really share that information and ensure the world has exposure and experience with the uh, technology that Peterbilt and FACR are developing. Right, right. Uh, well, you got the Super Truck 2, the Peterbilt Super Truck 2 behind you. I know we've, we've teased this before. It's a big coming out party there for, for it at CES. You've uh, noted that it's a 132% improvement in freight efficiency. Can you tell us a bit about the big design challenges going into the project and, and what you did to address those challenges? Yeah, so basically there's a handful of different areas that I really think are, are important for this one. First one was advanced aerodynamics and ensuring that this is just the absolute most aerodynamic shape going down the road. The second thing was around light weighting and reducing the weight of the tractor. Uh, this tractor is actually 500 pounds lighter than a comparable current production unit. And then the last piece, obviously, is the advanced uh, mild hybrid powertrain. Those three areas, I think, were really the focus and, and biggest challenges for elevating the freight ton efficiency of this product. Yeah, can you tell us a little about that mild hybrid? What, what is a mild hybrid? What is the powertrain configuration like? And, and how does that all contribute to the freight efficiency? Yeah, so it's powered by an advanced 15 liter diesel engine that's supplemented by a 48 volt, like you said, mild hybrid system. And that 48 volt system powers the accessories extremely efficiently, also helps with the propulsion. Are you, so is it an, is it an electric drive vehicle then? Is it still a diesel vehicle or, or it's like that combination the like, the, like, the, like the Prius kind of a hybrid type, type setup there? Yeah, so it's a, it's a mild hybrid, so it's not a plug-in hybrid. Okay. It's uh, powered by diesel and has an extremely clean, efficient, advanced 15-liter platform that's built on. Very cool. Uh, it also has a super unique driver experience, right? Can you tell us about that, what the inspiration was there for? And, and then is, are these things we might see down the line in production? Yeah, well, you know, we take a human-centered design approach to developing these new products. And with the uh, Super Truck 2, we brought in a lot of drivers and other industry and stakeholders, provide us feedback on what they'd like to see in the driver environment. And so through that process, and with the opportunity to really experiment here in this technology demonstrator, we put together the Central Drive Talk Bin. Helps with some of the direct visibility uh, from the driver's seat, reduces some of the blind spots. The truck itself actually has some unique uh, window positioning to help give visibility down below. Yeah, very good. I see you have, I, I kind of see you have some camera, I don't, we call it camera imaging system, right? Replaces the mirrors. You got some cameras up there. Those look great. I know that those, uh, we've seen those in the Model 589 as an option there built into the existing mirrors too. So bringing some of that technology over. Uh, really cool to see. Center design has to be a pretty unique experience as well. Yeah, it's just, you know, when you get people together, you learn things, you have insights that you wouldn't have had otherwise. And so that's really the beauty of it is the collaboration. I'm sure yeah, for sure. Well, I appreciate you talking with us and bringing us to CES. This was a very cool way to see it. And I'm sure we'll talk to you when you get back to uh, Denton. Let's do it. I love it.